of state legislators are looking to pass a law that would strip corrupt elected officials of their pensions. Lawmakers have been down this road before. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live in Santa Fe with the very latest. Madeline? Yeah, well, Dean, simple enough, the proposed measure is called the Public Corruption Act. Representative Matthew McQueen, whose district covers from El Dorado to Edgewood to Mountain Air, is sponsoring the bill. The Public Corruption Act gives a list of crimes that, should an elected official be convicted of committing while in office, they lose the state contributions to their pension. This includes felony convictions for bribery, fraud, embezzlement, and more. Their own contributions to the pension will be refunded, but they'll no longer get that lifetime stream of payments from the state. I think an elected office is a position of trust and too often in the past, not frequently but still too often, that trust has been abused and I think we need, to, we as legislators and elected officials need to hold ourselves to a higher standard and I think this is one way we can tell the public we're, we're serious about doing that. Now, this is the third time Representative McQueen has tried for this bill, and for that reason, he's keeping it rather narrow. It would only apply to elected officials. Although, should this bill finally be successful, he's considering a similar proposal, but for appointed officials. Now, McQueen hopes that this year the bill will get through because he has Republican Senator Mark Moores as a co-sponsor, and he also says that the governor supports the idea. It's one committee and floor vote away from going to her desk. Dean? All right, Madeline, thank you. Now, should that bill become law, it would only apply to cases going forward. That means it would not apply to people like Diana Duran or Phil Griego.